this is what I got for the HYI indices. Now our one-dimensional FTTD simulation has more than just 10 grid cells that we've considered here. So it's best to generalize this so that it works for any size grid. For example, when we see a 5, when you actually code this, I recommend you replace it with I max divided by 2. And then for 4, you can imagine we'd put I max divided by 2 minus 1, and so forth. Now that we know the indices for the field components, we can define the size of the HY and EZ arrays on each processor. For example, we can define the size of the HY array using allocate, I'm going to allocate space to it, memory, HY, and we're going to allocate from I start for the HY component for storing, store, to I end hy store and you can do the same for ez or similarly for ez as each processor moves independently through the code they will all read this line and then they will create the hy array of the correct size for that processor based on how we have set these values of these variables on each processor for example processor 0 will read this line and since I start HY store is equal to 1, processor 0 will uh, create an HY array that goes from 1 to I max divided by 2. And whereas processor 1 will get to this point of the code, it'll read this line, and it will define the HY array as going from I max divided by 2 to I max minus 1. Something else you should do is go to the EZ and HY regular updating loops and change the spatial do loops to only iterate over the indices of the field components that need to be updated. So for example, in the updating loop, we have do i equal, and right now it might be from 1 to i max minus 1. We need to replace that to only go from i start HY update the uh, starting HY update index to the I end HY update index. So here we'd have a regular HY update. And you can do the same for the easy array.